Now, talking about equations, there are in fact three different ways of writing lines. I prefer the y equals mx plus b way, but there are other ways, and I just want you to know those because they are referred to in the book. Uh, we've got the gradient form, y equals mx plus b, then there is something called the general form, and that's got an ax plus by plus c. Now, with the gradient form, the m and the b have particular meaning, but in the general form, the a and the b and the c do not have a meaning. So I would prefer this particular way. There is a third way, and that's called the intercept form, and that's quite interesting. Then you write the line as x over a plus y over b equals 1, and you'll find that the little a and b are respectively the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Let's do an example on that last one. Uh, here we've got a line that passes through these two intercepts. The x-intercept is 2, so a equals 2. The y-intercept is 1, so b equals 1. We can write there for the equation as x over 2 plus y over 1 equals 1. We can do some algebra to clean that up a little bit, writing it as y equals 1 with x over 2 transposed to the right, and we end up with y equals a half x with a negative in front, so negative a half x plus 1.